Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat's Good Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th, 2018 and while I'm doing the shuffling I uh, want to remind you guys that this is a, a general reading uh, for Libra Star Sign this is not your personal reading that's why, or therefore, um, I will explain the meanings of the cards in their positioning in the spread as well as their energy, uh, synergy, excuse me, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, then uh, that is a matter of a personal reading and to do so, to uh, purchase a personal reading with me you have to go to my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and also as it is the end of the summer uh, there is a summer end sale going on uh, which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute service making it for a total of 40 minutes so that being said um, let me cut the cards and let's see what you got here. Now the first position will be about the topic of your week. The second position is about the core of the situation. The third position here regards to uh, the challenges you Libra have to overcome for the duration of the week. And the last card it's about the guidance. So uh, what guidance Taro is offering to you. <clears throat> So let's see what you got here. Now the first card that will be the six of swords. So I do the first thing I uh, came to my mind when I look at that card is that you will have to make a certain. It's not even a, a choice, but it, it's more like a decision to make, because uh, this week somehow will involve um, undertakings that you may not feel very comfortable of participating into as the six of uh, swords represents um, in in a more superficial level it does represent say, a threshold which kind of one fears to cross or to trespass excuse me uh, because there is a a, a big level of uns of uh, uncertainty once one crosses that particular threshold now it's important to be acknowledged however with the six of uh, swords is that if you um, take you, you know if you take that risk quote unquote because in reality this isn't even a risk right this is kind of like placing yourself in more uncomfortable situations than you are used to but in the same time placing yourself into more uncomfortable situations will create the um, prerequisites to improve your personal circumstances and therefore the six of swords points that this week is going to be rather a an anxious week from your behalf from one side knowing that you have to do something about it despite what it is that will depend on your personal situation and something different about it either something different about your career or either something different about your love life let's say that you are I don't know single for quite a while and you are pretty uh, obsessed by your ex-girlfriend or by your ex-boyfriend this week with the six of swords it is likely that you will recognize that that cannot continue any longer you know and you have to actually start glancing upon different people for it and kind of similar situation applies for career development as well uh, and uh, moving on um, for the duration of the week, the more the days passes, the more you Libras are going to uh, realize that eventually um, you have to make a certain, not even changes, but more like adaptations in, uh, in your environment, in your work, into your uh, personal life as well, etc, etc, with the Six of Swords. And that can only happen, you know, if you uh, when you start experimenting with life itself. The core of the situation here that will be the Knight of Swords. So uh, this points that uh, you will have to kind of like uh, recognize um, how 
satisfied you are of your personal situation right now because the knight of swords it's uh, a card of decision making on a general scheme of things and uh, the the property of the knight is that the knight takes decisions uh, which favors only those kind of ends um, that satisfies the knight's emotions. This is the only sword card that kind of connects with the emotions. All right. So whatever decisions, whatever the direction you are about to take here with this mark with the six of swords, you know, it has to be a direction that it is defined with a positive impact upon your emotions. Therefore, um, if we follow the example, you know, with uh, the ex-partner and you define that it, is, it can't continue any longer like this, you know, and you have to glance upon different people, that doesn't mean that you have to jump with the first one giving you attention, you know. But you, you have to find the one, either girl or boy, which kind of makes you emotionally fulfilled. So we are talking here about the only, only the recognition that you have to step outside of the world, you know, and start showing that you are single and that you broke ties with the past. Knight of Swords as a decision-making card points as well that uh, these um, these decisions that you will have to make for the duration of the week, they they will be rather uh, in, a, in a large quantity and uh, they have to be made rather swift and fast therefore you will not have much time of deliberation but on the plus side these decisions will be rather simple to be made so when the time comes uh, for you to kind of like decide a certain thing you know only thing that you need to do here to know the right answer is to ask yourself do uh, am I going to like you know the unfoldment or rather like you know the, the the procedure afterwards that follows the decision I'm about to take and then uh, the next card is the uh, challenges that you have to overcome we do have another sword card here this is going to be the nine of swords for what it seems now the nine of swords is anxiety and as i said here with the, or even with the six of swords is that this is going to be a, a week of anxiety and uh, the anxiety of what however now uh, you know it is it is kind of very superficial to read the cards only with their meanings um, the meaning of the card is just only one side of the reading. One card has only also has a, a condition um, and also has a, a direction. So what is the conditions of the Nine of Swords? The conditions are responsibilities. So this is in an anxiety of you uh, being capable to fulfill all of the responsibilities that are falling on your shoulders because you are starting to feel you know that the week is placing you into a little bit more awkward position you know and maybe if it is strictly about your career you may have doubts you know that you will be able to pull it through with all the responsibilities that you additionally have on top of the new awkward position and awkward situation and when we talk about love here however the nine of swords represents the fear of either not finding the right mate ever or fear of being left alone so into an existing relationship this reading could uh, imply to the state where you are way too afraid you know not to lose your partner and therefore being succumbed to place yourself into awkward positions so for the favor of satisfying your partner and of course this is something that can and should be overcome here and as this is a uh, and as these three cards are sword cards the uh, the resolution of that situation comes through a open and honest conversations with your partners in love with your friends with your co-workers with your bosses etc etc and then uh, we do have the world card as a guidance that you should rather follow here, Libras. And the world card, it's, uh, it's a card of completion, of course, everybody knows that, you know, but as we said, the meanings are only one side of the reading. The completion here is just only the first step of your, uh, of your evolution for the duration of the week. The world card points that this week you will have a certain 
end or a certain completion end is not the correct word because the world card it's, it points to as I said completion not the ending so um, what happens next however will be defined um, on yourself or by, by yourself so what the world card uh, advise you to do here is to seek a, a different perspective because this is what the card says you know one thing ends you reach a, a peak or a culmination of a certain undertaking and should your life stop there I would rather not suggest that so the world card all leaves you with the condition that a, a new perspective emerges soon and should you be open to find it and to capitalize on it that depends entirely on you so if we follow up the example I gave you uh, with uh, the X here you do have your X and what the world card suggests is that you need to reach a, a completion with your X and because obviously if you think about that person then you you don't have your closure yet and to do so, you need to provoke an honest and open conversations where you both can have your closure. So you can find a, a new perspective that is about to emerge for you very, very soon. And you have to overcome your fear that you're going to lose your ex for good. Because either way, you have already lost it. So, uh, that being said, this was the... Uh, Tower reading now. Let's see what the Lenormand reading has to say. Uh, and the Lenormand reading is going to show event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right. So. The first card is that we do have the fox. So the fox stays for lies, it stays for cunning, but it could stay as, as well or it could stand as well for a co-worker. Then the next card, this is going to be the fish. So the fish stands for uh, expansion or it stands as well for money. And then the next one, um, this is the... Um, the lilies the lilies stands for elders it stands for family it stands for sex as well so the negative event is that someone could mesmerize you with their material um, situation and basically have sex with you you know for one night <laughs> that is one of the interpretation here the other interpretation is that someone of your family could be very cunning about money all right and the last interpretation of these cards as an event is that a, a co-worker who is dealing with a lot of money you know want to have more intimate relationship with you so it's kind of like you know a, a co-worker um, type of attraction intimate attraction <clears throat> and depending on what you want you know um, you should decide either you should look forward to these kind of events or you should try to avoid them so that being said guys this was the libra general tarot and lenormand reading for the week of september 24th to september 30th 2018 again this is a general reading for the libra star sign this is not your personal reading i have explained the meanings of the cards there are synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situations uh, if you want me to do that for you, then you have to obviously go for a, a personal reading and to do so, please check out my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. That being said, Brad signing out now. See you next time. Bye.